What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to the Nana Manga, this time with volume 20, chapter 74. Uh, as I expressed the last few weeks, we haven't actually really got much left, to be honest with you. I think we've got 10 chapters total, and thank you for the comments last week actually that me know uh, that I believe the last four chapters are actually unofficially translated, so there might be, again, a few iffy uh, translations in there, but... I'm, uh, I'm kind of used to it, <laughs> so uh, not too big a deal. Uh, we'll just have to recap last week's chapter, uh, of which I don't remember too much from. Obviously, we had Shin's kind of welcome home party. Uh, it was more of a kind of scolding, but it, it was good for him, so I don't, I don't really mind it too much. Had a, a fun kind of end segment, as usual, for the end of the uh, volumes. I really like those, and I'm not sure we'll get too many more of those, I think. Yeah, so next volume is the same length as usual, but volume 21 seems to be only two chapters, which, um, I mean, I guess it comes sooner there, perhaps, but, uh, well, unfortunately, I, I think it's going to go, we usually get, like, the update on the author's health at, at the end of these volumes, and, um, yeah, I, I'm not sure we can expect kind of good things in that regard. I'm also not sure when exactly these chapters were released. I guess I can kind of look that up, but I think it was a long time ago. When was uh, chapter, when was volume 21 of Nana released? I'm going to guess like 2015, 2009, fucking hell. Yeah, so this has been on hiatus for quite a while, hasn't it? 20, uh, 20 years, but yeah, not, not that well, close to 20 years, but um, yeah, like 15 years. That is, uh, yeah, that is a big shame, isn't it? And it's still got the hiatus status, though, which I find interesting. It's not cancelled, but I guess that's a really nice thing, actually, for the author. Not outright cancelling her work. If she ever does want to come back, she is, like, ready uh, ready to go and ready to get published, I guess. Which is nice. But, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's recap a little bit here. Like I said, we had the whole shin... Stuff which was nice, little handshake. Of course, we have the Takumi stuff going on with Rayra. I think he visited her at the end of the chapter, didn't he? Started uh, getting down dirty with her. Beat up the uh, the drug dealer, which was good to see. This uh, I thought was quite an interesting shot from uh, Fake Me Sao saying she'd do whatever it takes. Thought that was a little bit scary, honestly. <laughs> uh, we had a little bit of worry about Ren. Um, they tried to make it seem like he was in some kind of like, danger or something. But he ended up being alright, which was cool. Um, yeah, that was just about it. So uh, we'll get straight into this one after looking at the coloured version of the cover here, which looks very nice. I feel like there is very few people that suit this. My auntie um, really loves stuff like this, and I think she suits it very well. I don't think there's many people that do. Um, I, I imagine if I were to wear something like this, I'd just look very corny. But uh, I love uh, love both the outfits here actually. I'm more of a very simple. Uh, I'm quite good with my like stylistic stuff. I think <laughs> I'm quite good at, like putting colours and stuff together, which is like the bare minimum. But um, yeah, I think I'm decent at stuff like that. But I should uh, I should start getting some Nana clothes. Although uh, I, the thing is, you can't really wear clothes they wear in Nana in the UK because they're all maybe in the summer but they're all like ripped up and like open and you just yeah you'd be freezing your ass off if you do that in the UK but yeah nice uh, nice little outfits here like the hats especially and there's that is that, is that that BMW again, or whatever it is? That Mercedes, that's the one. Volume 20. A lovely shot there as well, isn't it? 
So yeah, we've got chapter 74, 75, 76, and 77 in this one. And they are about the same length as last time. This one being 46 chapters, uh, 42 and 42. Okay. See, so about the same as last time, which is genuinely a little bit shorter than previous volumes, but still not, uh, still not a massive amount of difference. So yeah, let's read this quickly. This might have, yeah, this has changed. The story of Nana. After Shin's arrest, Nana starts crashing at the apartment where she used to live with Hachi. Oh, sorry, I didn't check. Um, I'm always so bad at this. I've literally got like a giant camera in my face when I start up OBS. But um, I, I never check. I've got fucking toothpaste or anything around my mouth. <laughs> and most of the time I do. So apologies about that. I don't know what it is. I, just, I don't, I don't. I, I think I actually look better on OBS than I than I do on like photos, which is strange. But I still really don't like looking at myself in the, in the, um, on like, I don't know, looking at myself in photos or stuff like that. I, I don't know. I just, yeah. Maybe it's because I, I think I look different than I actually do. I, I don't know. I, mainly my nose, I think. <laughs> Sometimes my nose looks proper wonky. And it, it probably does to everyone else, but yeah. Uh, no, no getting into that. Nana starts crashing at the apartment where she used to live with Hachi and concentrates on her solo career. But then Yasu comes to pick her up and gets her to move back into the dorms. Ren is stubborn and refuses to see Nana, even after Hachi tries to convince him to talk to her. He tries to quit drugs, but he can't deal with it, so he starts using again and hits the wall. Reira is sick of playing it cool and breaks down in front of Takumi, and they end up making out. But with Hachi's help, Takumi tries to get Reira back together with Shin, freshly sprung from the slammer. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? Never heard that expression used. Freshly sprung from the slammer. I, I don't think... <laughs> but that's the thing, you wouldn't usually be saying anything like that about criminals. We know Shin isn't that type of guy. So it makes sense here, but... I wouldn't just be like saying a murder victim is just guys. Freshly sprung from his, uh, from his quaint... Uh, Quaint court of uh, dwelling. <laughs> Fancy like that. But Shin decides not to see Reira again until he gets his act together. Reira realises this and is, and is about to have a breakdown. To protect her, Takumi crosses a line and... For the complete story, check out the rest. Why anyone would randomly pick up well, to be honest, as a kid, I used to maybe do stuff like that, just randomly pick up, like, um, well, I think in games, it's a bit easier just to pick up, like, a number two, because a lot of the time in games, Borderlands 2, Dead Space 2, stuff like that, any of the Resident Evils, um, pretty much any franchise, you can pick up any of the games and not really have to know the lore or anything and just have a fun time. But, um, with, like... I used to do that with TV, as I was about to say, like the TV shows and stuff. I just do that and have a bit of fun with it. It's like The Simpsons is not really, um, it's not really any kind of major storyline for Outlier Season. The Simpsons, for example, but um, I feel like with manga, who the hell would just pick up randomly volume twenty of Nana and start reading from there? It kind of seems a bit crazy, doesn't it? And with anime, especially, I don't think you can do that. Again, maybe the more episodic stuff perhaps you can, but. I want to hear you say. Well, uh. There are going to be a bit of a cover art here as well. Yeah, there is, but it's not in color, so. We'll switch over quickly, guys. But yeah, do let me know what you guys. Uh, I might have already done this, but yeah, do let me know what you guys thought about this. Um, this first chapter of this volume down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date uh, let's get into it i want to hear you say the lovely name ren came up with I come out of the long darkness today too, and I call his name in a low voice. I play music at dawn, and awaken, the name of a beautiful flower. Chapter 74 So, is this London? 
think so. Just judging from the buses, and I think that's the um, Big Ben. It's a very British looking man right there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think so. I don't like London as a as an English person. Way too expensive. But even away from that, there's like lovely areas of like rich. Well, I said lovely, rich areas. They're not awfully lovely. There's rich areas, and then it's just like shithole areas, and it's just like, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like the vibe in London. <clears throat> And who is this? It's, it's amazing, isn't it? The anatomy of uh, again, I like the character size. To get me wrong, but the, the, the anatomy of like the face is that big, and then the rest of the head is like that big. <laughs> like I'm, I'm gonna measure it with my fingers here. That's the face, and from the eyebrows to the top of the head, that it's quite insane, isn't it? Yasu got quite lucky <laughs> with his head shape. Yasu got very lucky. If anyone else was to go bald in the show, my god. But maybe some aspiring young artist here, perhaps. And these are the Thames. London Bridge, perhaps, uh, bunch of apartments, perhaps. Ding dong. Ah, that's his son. Wait, what? Is that his son? Who do you have a son with? Yeah, I thought it was Shin for a minute. <laughs> I thought it was Shin from this shot here, but um, his, his son? Who do you have a son with? Who's here this early in the morning? It's already 10. I got a pee. I mean, he's a very small boy, so... I hope it's his son. <laughs> Now, okay. So, I'm thinking about going down there to confirm that woman in the photo is really Nana. Oh god, don't do that. If you go, she'll recognise you and run away. What if I go and drag? Then she'll really know if something's wrong. Thank you, Ren. How sweet. So they call the kid Ren? The boy? So who's the mother of this kid is one question. He does kind of look like Komatsu a little bit. Although I feel like a lot of the characters have very kind eyes like this. I do usually relate that to Komatsu though. So what we were talking about in the intro was uh, actually naming this kid uh, Ren's name rather than... Uh, Hmm. That's a bit strange, that, isn't it? Would you guys ever call your kid the name of one of your friends? I mean, it might coincidentally kind of line up with what you want to call him. Oh, yeah, I've got a friend named that, but I'm not going to change the name of my kid just because my friend's named that. But you don't usually see that, do you? That's interesting. Especially, especially Takumi. Hmm. He's got a kind boy, though, doesn't he? Again, who was the mother of this guy? Hey, Ren. What about me? Yummy. Wow. Daddy? Yeah. You can get it yourself. <laughs> He's the one teaching you manners. 
Ozzy's such a little brat. Well, remember your childhood, bro. What I've got to say about that. That. And he looks so adorable. Well, he is your spawn. You got the evil eyes. But I bet his IQ is super high. My crazy little Momo. Yesterday she. So now he's got a daughter. Man, everyone, everyone's got fucking kids now. So yeah. Naoki is quite is like one of the most surprising actually, considering what we saw from his um his little special section we got not too long ago. He's still even in the kind of current time of Nana. This is in the future. In the current time, he still hasn't really like found anyone or anything, has he? I feel like with guys like this sometimes, and, and women sometimes, they're just kind of, I feel like it's lesser women, I feel, I feel like they get taken much quicker, but with guys so nice like this, I feel like it might be a bit kind of suspect, like he, now he's such a nice and uplifting and uh, loud guy, you, you kind of wonder where does it all come from, how is he, how is he able to be like that, from my perspective, and it's like, it's not suspicious for me, he just is a, is a great guy, but it might kind of seem bit suspicious i don't know the fact that he's always so upbeat he's almost like too good i've uh i felt that way about a lot of um I feel like everyone thinks that way about some people are just too good for me uh, there's no point in even trying because he's just way too upbeat way too nice for me he deserves someone of that level if you know what i'm saying and he's a he's a good looking guy as well of course don't talk about your daughter it makes me miss satsuki daddy Ah, oh, it sucks. Hey, if we find Nana, Hachiko will want to live here too. So he lives in England? You know what? I think Takami would actually... I do actually see that. I do think Takami would actually quite fit England. Lifestyle-wise. So they are living apart, which is uh, good for me. <laughs> I'm glad about that. Although, yeah, it's kind of sad he's away from his daughter. It's also kind of sad if that is Komatsu's son. But I'm, I'm imagining it actually isn't. Maybe it's Reira's son. Is that, is that what we're on to here? Is it Reira's son? Is it, uh, it could be any random woman's son. Yeah, I'm going to take a wild guess and guess it's Rayra's probably. I tried to convince her on the phone again the other day, but she only said, Nana might come back, so I'm staying here. The usual. He really is just like that devoted Hachiko dog. Always wait. That reminds me of that Kintar episode, man. The dog's always just waiting there. Wait in there, it's been kicked out. It's been beat up, it's been kicked out, it's been let loose. But it's still waiting for its owner. By the way, if you've got nothing to do today, can you stay with Ren? When I leave him alone, he runs off to God knows where. Or should I just get a nanny? Sure, but shouldn't he be in school? How long of a winter vacation can he take? He hides when I try to take him back to Japan, and he's really sneaky. If he likes it here that much, put him in a school in London. But when Nana comes here for spring break, she'll insist on taking him home. He shouldn't have to pay the price for his parents' drama. Well, that's just how pairing it is, isn't it? There's not really anything you can do about that, fortunately. Satsuki's got to be lonely with all the family all separated. Atchiko should move here. So we got to find Nana ASAP. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. That's not the problem. I'm paying the price for sacrificing everything just for my work. Of course, Nana won't listen to me. Don't say just.
I don't want you talking about trapness like it's just work. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Well, that's the thing. It is like, compared to family, it is work. It is just work, isn't it? Don't get mad. Well, I'm just waiting for the day you say you want to start up the band again. See, as uh, as we kind of already know, I think, or at least I, I yeah, I'm pretty sure we knew that Trap Nest is no longer a thing right now. And for the day when Rayra starts singing again. Oh, oh yeah, so I'm being stupid here, aren't I? I think we did actually see Rayra with uh, this little boy a couple chapters ago, didn't we? My, ba my bad about that. I, I wasn't... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't initially recognise him, but I, I kind of totally forgot about that. So that is Rayra's son, I'm pretty sure. But it's also Takami's son and henceforth Sachiko's half-brother, I think. The day when Rayra starts singing again. Hey, Daddy. Proper little rock star already, isn't he, this kid? <laughs> Leather jacket, guitar in the back, nice style haircut. What is it? Where are you going with your guitar? Ren, want to study at home with me today? Rayra has been singing. Don't boss my daddy. <laughs> what a protective little kid you got here. No one's bossing daddy around. It's all right. But if now he tutors you, you'll just turn stupid like him. She's been singing again? He sings when Ren plays his guitar. Hey, Ren. You said a long time ago that even if the one you love doesn't do what you want, that uh, even if she ends up with someone else, you'll still always love her. I want to be a sensitive person. I wanted to destroy everything Takumi cared about. I kept cursing myself for this voice I was born with. It's amazing, isn't it? I think you get that quite a lot with talent. People sometimes actually have been blessed with, and, and they, I mean, and I feel like a lot of singers, they are blessed with a good voice, but they also obviously work very hard to to improve their voice and vocals and so on. So it's not like just a gift, but, um, I feel like you do see this with stuff similar where it is kind of more a gift than something you've really worked hard for. We actually start cursing it, even though it's like such a... Anyone else would love to be like a singer from an outside perspective and such. But um, yeah, you do see them actually kind of curse their success quite a lot of the time. It's interesting. Probably a lot of interest in psychology behind it. Obviously, we know very well Rayra's uh, ongoings right here why it was a curse for her to be an angel to tackle me but um yeah but it's weird when i hold his son's hand so it's not her son the way that she says it's his son not her son so that so that is komatsu's but he just plays with Rayra a little bit every now and then because takumi's friends with her uh, yeah, uh, who knows? <laughs> we haven't been outwardly told yet, so we can only assume. But when I hold his son's hand, he has the same name as you, Ren. I care about him. He's little, but he already has the fingers of a guitarist. I used to feel so hateful. But maybe I've grown up a little.
So she's talking to Ren, but Ren isn't actually here. This is very strange, this, isn't it? It makes you, it really makes you feel like Ren dead. <laughs> like, it, it's like we're talking to a ghost. And the fact that we're named uh, the kid after him. Oh, that's definitely something you do to pay respects to your friend, right? Maybe that's why Nana has like gone off course as well and just like totally left everyone. So yes, um, uh, it seems pretty damn likely that Ren is actually dead, which is also interesting because we were worried so much about him in the last chapter, but he ended up being okay. And he, he looks exactly the same as another point I was going to make here. He looks exactly the same. Everyone's changed at least a little bit. Like Takami almost looks exactly the same, but he has changed slightly. Ren looks exactly the same. And this is like quite a ghostly shot right here, isn't it? Hmm. How the hell? Well, so I'm going to say how the hell did he die. We've got a pretty good idea how he died, but um, I won't say anything. Well... I will say, I imagine it has something to do with his uh, addiction, whether that be him on the addiction or him just not being able to take being off, off it. I don't know. And that's not just with the actual substance as well. That's with the. Uh, that's a movie I want to watch, to be honest with you. <laughs> I saw the trailer for The Substance when I went to watch Alien Romulus and it looked really good. It didn't give too much away, but I've heard amazing things about that movie. Off the topic there, though. Um, yeah, I imagine it, it may have, probably has more to do with his addiction to Nana than his actual addiction, but I imagine that also plays a big part. But you know what? Sometimes London can look lovely like this, and sometimes uh, I, I live it pretty much in the country in the UK, and sometimes you do get some beautiful kind of country views and such with beautiful nature. That's one good thing about the UK and living in the country. Um, lots of really nice nature places and stuff like that. <clears throat> Maybe that's why Trap Nest was no longer a thing now as well because Ren died so they didn't have a bassist or guitarist. I forget which one is Ren. Is it a guitarist or a bassist? Yeah. Hey, Ren. Please say something. Oh. I scroll down here, does it look to you guys like these these curtains are moving? I think that was like some kind of optical illusion for, for me. Do you guys see this? Maybe, maybe it doesn't come across too much in the video. But when I scroll down here, it kind of looks like the uh, curtains are moving a little bit. Please say something. Oh, that's, a, that's a quite an interesting way to find out that Ren is dead, isn't it? Um, I imagine this is almost like the nail in the coffin, so to speak. She always used to relate and get on so so well with Ren, didn't she? Satsuki Ichinose. Satsuki. Ren. Tatsuki? Ichinose? Well, there he is, right? He's not dead? Oh, wait, oh, is this back in the past? Oh, I think she's still got a lump. So, yeah, it's still in the past, I think. Or in the current. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you guys hopefully know what I'm talking about. 
So that's the name he came up with. So I think it would have been a little bit, maybe slightly ridiculous if the name he came up with <laughs> for Takabe's son was Ren. Uh, so yeah, I, I got a bit confused about that earlier. Apologies. So he came up with the name Satsuki Ichinose. It is a pretty cool name, isn't it? Satsuki Ichinose. I always like the name Ichinose. Satsuki, not a name I you hear very often. Satsuki means rhododendron. Ren means lotus. Rhodod oh, so that's a type of flower. I think I've heard about that, but I don't. I don't know what it looks like. Rhododendron. I guess we can look up that quickly. Although, as what usually happens in this, it, it'll show us an image of one drawn in a minute. Rhododendron. Ah oh, man, there's so many of these in the UK. You see these uh, every every third house you walk past, you'll see these outside someone's house. They're really popular, yeah. And they're nice flowers as well. They do look nice. So I think I I had some at my last house. Uh, a big bushful. I always thought I'd name my children after flowers. Like me. I do like flower names. Maybe, I think more so in Japanese. I don't know. In what English flower names are there? There's Hannah, which is literally means flower, but that's not. English for flower, that's Japanese for flower. Um, Rose, I like the name Rose. Um, Tiffany a flower? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I can't really think of too many others. I guess we'll Google some. Flowers and herbs. Iris. Oh, well, that's a name I like. I do like that one. Daisy, of course. Oh, uh, yeah, I like the name Daisy. Jasmine. Yeah. Azalea. I like that one as well. Dahlia. That one reminds me of just Silent Hill. Ever. Another Silent Hill name. Poppy. Not a big fan of Poppy. It's usually, uh, that's quite an old one, I think. Lily. Lily's all right. It's a very common one as well. Camellia. Never met a camellia, I don't think. Clover, I don't hear that one very often. Holly, yeah, that one's quite... Um, that one's quite common here as well. Alyssa, that's another... That's another. Uh, have I not noticed this? So a bunch of these are Silent Hill characters. Dahlia, Heather, Alyssa, and Alyssa and Heather, slight spoilers here, are the same person. So um, I imagine there's something I haven't actually read into there. Japanese people, maybe not every Japanese person, but Japanese authors love depicting stuff with flowers and such, don't they? So there probably is something there I haven't actually checked out yet. But um, yeah, if I, if I was to name my daughter after one of these flowers, if I was to have a daughter. I think I've heard of the name Bryony as well. Not a, not much of a fan of that one. Might be Iris or something like that. I don't know. I'm so happy. It's amazing. Thank you. You're talking like she's your daughter. I don't care, but... Well, she could be my child too. So I think Ren would, again, as much as he has the issues, I think he'd be a great parent. Would Nana Rosaki be a great parent? I'm not really too sure. I mean, she hasn't got the best. Yeah, this may sound harsh, but she didn't really have the best upbringing herself. And 
maybe didn't experience too much great pairing in, so I wouldn't hand that over. I feel like Ren, Ren is obviously in quite a similar boat. Obviously, he didn't have uh, his parents around either, but I feel like it was slightly different for him. He actually knew the kind of warmth of a good family a little bit with Yasu. No, no, we didn't really seem to get that till she met Ren. Yeah, I'd, I'd trust Nana, especially, I, I think, strange, because I'd especially trust her if she was, like, looking after Komatsu's kid. I'd, I'd definitely trust her to be an awesome parent in that case. What? No, no way. There's no way. Hey, why so harsh? Ren, uh, Ren belongs to Nana. It's been a month since I stopped hearing from Ren. I don't want to think about Ren too much. But no one could let me forget. If her name's Satsuki, her nickname can still be Sachi. On the lunar calendar, the month of May is Satsuki. And he came up with a uh, one kanji name just like I wanted. It must be quite handy, just the one, pretty much the one letter name. I say one letter. Kanji can sometimes be very complicated and, and take as long as writing a whole, uh, maybe not a whole sentence, but yeah, take as long as writing pretty much a, a long word with uh, maybe like 12 strokes or something. That's so rare. The perfect name. Really? I don't see what the big deal is. You'll do at the end of April anyway. I doubt you'll give birth on May 5th like you want. Well, that's pretty damn close. May 5th. May the 5th be with you. That's what that date says to me. That is Star Wars Day, isn't it? And what if it's a boy? No prob. That's what Takami said. Then Ren can pick out another name. Oh really? You guys seem pretty friendly. But there might not be many flower boy names. Will it be a problem? Maybe if you change the way you read the kanji. I guess we can have a look at boys' names as well. We didn't ever look at the um, Japanese flower names. Well, there's some nice ones here. I think there's a whole anime. I think it's called uh, Land of Illustrious with maybe a focus on stuff like this. Uh, I still need to watch that. I've heard really good things about it. I've heard a few of these. I've heard Tsubaki from... Where have I heard Tsubaki from? Was it Sket Dance, I think? I heard that one. I heard Sakura, of course. Very popular name. Very beautiful. Uh, yeah, very beautiful seeing Sakura. Never seen that in person. I, I need to go to Japan and see the uh, see the sakura trees. Imawari I've heard of before. Yuri, of course. Um, not too many of these other ones, to be honest with you. Red Spider, these are a very popular one, but you don't hear people named that. Shion I've heard of. And that's, that is... Um, Sandy line as well. Oh, what was the other name for that? I forget. But yeah, Shion is a popular one. Yeah, not many of these boys' names. Subaki was a boy in um in Sket Dance, so maybe maybe that one was good. The thing is with the Japanese names as well though, it's like it's not it doesn't just mean this flower. It also probably has another meaning. A lot of kanji have multiple meanings and mul and different combinations have different meanings, so it probably is meant to mean something else as well as the flower, so it's not something we can actually kind of think about too much in English. I never knew what Ren wanted to name his children after flowers. You guys never discussed anything like that, did there? The shochu I just cracked open is burning my stomach. Is it because I used to 
uh, wash down the pill that I forgot to take earlier? Is it because I used it to wash down the pill that I forgot to take earlier? Is it because I used it to wash down the pill that I forgot to take earlier? Oh, so she, I was going to say, like, how are you washing down the pill when you forgot to take it? But I guess she just took it. I don't even need it. I'm talking, I guess she's talking about a like, contraception pill. And she's randomly taking it. Without any, uh, yeah, woman things that I know nothing about, so I'm not going to discuss too much. <laughs> Thanks for driving me home. It's cool. I have to go somewhere anyway. Well, it ain't work. You're going to Raver's. I already know. It's work related. Why can't you at least tell your best friend what's going on? Who's my best friend? Stop creeping me out. Don't get me wrong. I've already got a Raver as my BF. I know you're a lonely guy who can only view your comrades as your soldiers. Great, you get it. So you really are lonely. Of course. No, I'm not lonely. Why wouldn't you be? You slept with your precious little sister to protect the castle. Kind of disgusting when he puts it like that, but eventually, yeah. Uh... Oh, this song really fits this moment very well. Man, I can't wait to hear the full new playlist from the Silent Hill 2 remake. I've heard glimpses of it already and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. I'm really impressed. You're the kind of guy. How can I put it? You put your life on the line for your work. Now I remember. You told me once to sleep with her. If you're her best friend, wish her real happiness. What do you mean, real? Rayra talks about wanting to be happy and whatever, but she only seems to go, want to go to hell with you. I know. I know. It's not funny. I think I'm going to go bald. Oh, no. We see in the future, he's still got that lovely head of hair. You're going to hell anyway. Now that you slept with her, take her with you. I don't need you to tell me I'll take her with me. And you and Naoki and Mari and everyone else. Mari? I just want Nana and Satsuki to be kept out of this. But what are you going to do if Hachiko finds out? You won't be able to act like it's just some random fling. If Nana ditches me, my whole world will turn into a battlefield. Don't go soft. You deserve it. Be a man and die in battle. I've heard that before. Who said that? I don't know. Driving someone into a corner is the equivalent of driving yourself into a corner. So I will die in battle someday. Atsushi is probably the only one who'd say something gnarly like that. It sounds like something Baldi would say. Oh yeah. Is the equivalent of. Yeah, that does sound quite Yasu-like, that, that little bit there, doesn't it? It was Shion.
Oh, is that um is that Osaki's sister? I was kind of wondering who this is for a minute. But I haven't been like interested in this, but it's been popping up lately for me. The like the shape of shoes and how unnatural they are. Like these, for example. Like your your feet aren't meant to look like this. These may look slightly bulbous, but they're actually probably much more comfortable for your feet. Strange point, I know. <laughs> Randomly, just been getting a lot of stuff like that popping up on my. Uh, yeah, popping up places like you should get comfortable shoes. Yeah, we haven't seen her for a long time, have we? Bloody hell. Poor fucking girl. She ran away from home? Yeah, she ran out of her family's house in Okayama, and it's been three days now. Oh fucking hell! Not sure if you guys, I used to run away from home, but it would literally be for like twenty minutes. <laughs> put put a little tantrum, get out, get out of the house, literally go around the corner, <laughs> and uh, yeah, never go too far. Three days, fucking hell. Misato's father's about to open up a new restaurant here, and in April she was supposed to go live with him and her brother again. I don't know what to do. Mm. It's amazing how much the paparazzi has fucked up his family, isn't it? And they just like there's no repercussions or anything. No, no one even thinks about this. Not, not the public. Not the police. No one gives a fuck. They've just got to deal with it. Amazing, isn't it? I don't know what to do. Oh no, don't cry. I can't hold you over the phone. <laughs> well, that's sorted out her mood. Uh, I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm sorry. I promised to let you talk to Nana, and now all this stuff's gone down. No, it's not your fault. Just you calling me helps. I'm really glad you seem to be doing well. Your emails helped cheer me up. It was nothing. The least I could do. Really. I thought I didn't have any fans left. Again, I feel like in a rock space, a situation like he got himself into, not the exact crime, that definitely, maybe might, definitely maybe might, <laughs> uh, yeah, might um, put some fans off, but getting in trouble with the law and stuff like that, I think that's actually quite a popular thing, but actually maybe make him more popular in the rock, rock atmosphere. But you totally do. Everyone's waiting for Blast to make a comeback. You have to take care of yourself. Thank you. So I really hate this poster in the back. Just because it's literally like a third of a poster. It's just like blank space for half of it. Like what a waste of money that is. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it shit looks fine. Everything is just like, oh, you lazy bastards. You've done half the poster. Thank you. You take care too, Chikage. I'll talk to you later. So they're on a quite friendly basis, which I didn't realise, seemingly. Next is Arissa. Oh, he's, oh, he's just like calling up all the fans. What's she like? Shin, what are you doing? Making sales calls. Aren't you impressed? Ah. Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. I told you, underage smoking's against the law. Many, many times. 
Wow. Do you really feel sorry for what you've done? I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. If Nana finds out, she'll kill you. But Nana's on tour. She ain't around. That doesn't matter. Don't pay me for a fool. Then you grown-ups should stop leaving your smokes around. God, where's Yasu? Gonna get it. Dunno. Cigarettes are the second most important thing to him after his life. He left them, so he must have been in a real hurry. So I imagine Shion told him about Osaki's sister. Ding dong. Where's Misao? I thought you weren't going to see me anymore because of your jealous girlfriend. Aren't you such a nice guy? How nostalgic. Atsushi, Shion. I wonder what they're up to. Shion still seems to be hanging around with Baldy. What? So what do you want to talk about? I don't have time to indulge in the good old days. I want to get in and then get out quick. Damn, Baldy. I want to get with her too. <laughs> I'm out of here. Wait. Oh, God. If you're jonesing that bad, go make up jonesing. I swear I've heard that term. I don't know what it means, though. Jonesing. Hopefully I don't get anything crazy cut right here. Have a strong desire or craving for something. Jonesing for a drink. Why is it called jonesing? That is the first thing that comes up. How how interesting is that? You seen this? Why is it called the Paralympics? Okay. I guess the I guess I overrated humanity. <laughs> Although I, I say that while I'm looking this up. A Jones was originally a drug habit. The expression comes from a previous phrase, keeping up with the Joneses. That originally meant matching the neighbours' lifestyle choices. You have to keep up with your drug habit and that's why it became a Jones. Associated with drug addicts. Jones Alley. Interesting. Does it come from that phase of like 60s, 70s, 80s? Uh, yeah, I, I only really know this from American Psycho, funnily, but that phase of like uh, bankers and like successful kind of like salespeople, like all doing cocaine and like booths and such. Is that where that came from? I don't know. Interesting. I think that's a very much an American thing, I imagine. Never, never, yeah, never heard that. Well, uh, I've heard it, but again, I never understood it. I guess I might have heard it in like a movie or something. If you're jonesing that bad, go make up with Nana. I'm thinking about quitting Trap Nest. So maybe Ren didn't die, <laughs> but he just left Trap Nest. Okay, maybe I went a bit too far. But the fact that he, uh, he kind of seemed like ghostly in that scene of Rayra, I don't know. And again, the name... The naming after him did he just like go to cuba and just like live by himself or something imagine cuba would actually be probably a terrible place to go if you're an ex-drug addict so maybe maybe not cuba but somewhere off the grid what the hell so nana the day after tomorrow is your birthday. Huh? What do you mean, huh? Are you wasted? Your birthday's March 5th, right? Oh yeah. I've been so busy running around I forgot. Where the hell am I right now? March 5th is also the anniversary of when we met. 
I really wanted to celebrate it together. And why don't you come over to my hotel? A lover's rendezvous. How do you how do you probably say that? Rendezvous? Rendezvous? I think it's rendezvous, isn't it? I think it's French. It sounds French. A lover's rendezvous. Rendezvous. I, I keep saying rendezvous. <laughs> I think that's probably the English way to say it. Ugh, sorry guys. Can I? That's cool. You're for real? Then I'll be here. For sure. I'll bake a cake. But where is it? Hey, Hachi, this birthday, I'll make sure to buy a present for myself, because I did my best. A one-way ticket to Tokyo. How many years now have I been wanting to do that? Now oh, look at that. The classic. The classic, bro. I mean, as a Japanese person, I imagine this is rude to do even in like the UK, put something in like a seat where someone could potentially sit down, especially if it's busy. But in Japan, I imagine this is like a sacrificial crime for doing something like this. But yeah, the, the classic first meeting with the nanas. Ah, that feels nostalgic, doesn't it? Wow. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm not really sure what to make of this scene here, if any of you guys can help me. Like, who is this? This but like who is who's who's talking right here? O Osaki? I guess this is just reminiscing perhaps. Perhaps that's all it means. But this isn't Osaki standing here, is it? The shoes? I don't think are something Osaki would wear. The the jeans and like the style is something I don't see Osaki wearing. Like I think this is a guy. I did think it was Mew at first, but I think it's a guy. I don't know. I don't know. We obviously saw this. Um, we saw that earlier on in the chapter. Somewhere. Here. We saw that same shot here. The Ren. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I don't think it's Ren either. The hair's way too long and not dark enough. Yeah, if any of you guys can help me out with this scene, I'd appreciate that. I imagine the talk here is from Osaki. This is her. Before she went on the trip to Tokyo, that one-way trip. I met Komatsu. But yeah, who is that standing there? So yeah anyway thank you guys for watching uh, again pretty good uh, pretty good chapter today like i said um not sure if it's like a bombshell yet that ren is potentially dead but something's happened with him i feel like that is the case just again ju just based off the name situation but there's more than a few signals of that honestly um yeah away from that pretty interesting stuff with rayra here of course and Ren actually saying that he's going to be quitting Trap Nest. I, I quite like the scenes with uh, with Ren and Takumi today. I thought they were quite strangely wholesome. <laughs> They're a good duo, aren't they? I like them as a duo. Uh, nice seeing Oka uh, Okami's Osaki's sister again. Haven't seen her for a long time now, have we? So hopefully we kind of pick back up on that whole situation. That was something I was very invested in then. Uh, but yeah, decent stuff. Uh, do let me know what you guys thought about this chapter down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date. And I'll see you guys next week with chapter 20, volume 75, I believe.